Hey guys, it's Asher. I just wanted to jump on a video and just talk a little bit about a seer. Talk a little bit about seers. What is a seer? What is a seer prophet? Um, I'm a bit tired. I've just got back from a church meeting and I've just been sitting in my lounge, kind of like thinking and meditating and mulling over what a seer is. And I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, can I have a fresh insight, just some fresh revelation? I, I want to know deeper have it a deeper meaning of what a seer is and it's quite interesting god gave me a god gave me a strong impression and a picture of a captain of a cricket team so for my american friends um cricket is a well known and well played sport in in england australia south africa and different countries around the world but similar to baseball you have a bowler, you have a batsman, you have a team that fields. And the goal is to get the batsman out. And the goal of the batting team is to score as many runs as possible. Well, anyway, the captain of a cricket team is, is often not the best player, is often not the best batsman, and is often not the best bowler. Um, captains lead, they lead by example. But captains are always observing and looking at the circumstance, the situation, the environment, and they, 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 the bowler will focus on bowling, the batsman will focus on batting, the fielder will focus on fielding, but the captain is looking at everything and being ready to make a calculated decision of where to field the team, <clears throat> who should bowl next. And the captain's thinking about strategy. The captain's thinking about little details that no one else is thinking about and I grew up playing cricket I love cricket and often the captain will have to stand back or sit back and observe his environment to see what's going on to pick up little things that no one else is picking up and then that captain like I said just before will make decisions to change strategy to change the bowling style to and he will choose who to position and where to position the field. And what I felt like God was saying is that seers or seer prophets are called to help bring structure and strategy to the body of Christ. They don't need to be the star batsman. They don't need to be the star bowler. But they, ha they can help strategically position and put in place key players and key moments in order to win the game in order to bring about victory i kind of hope that makes sense it's probably maybe a little bit difficult to picture and and grasp if you've never played cricket or watched cricket but i, I kind of felt like god yeah gave me that revelation that seers see they observe they take in the environment they pick up little details that no one else is picking up you know the there's a Bible verse in the Old Testament that says God sent forth his seers and prophets to instruct Israel. You know, King David had his own personal seer. And when King David was building the tabernacle of worship, he didn't just build it himself. King David had seers and he had prophets. And together, he had the seer, the prophet and the king. And together they functioned in unity to build the tabernacle of David, to build the place of worship. You know, David established 24-7 prayer and worship. David had over 4,000 musicians, and night and day they would praise and they would worship the Lord. And David established that with the seers and with the prophets. So the seers and prophets were very much involved in establishing worship to the Lord, the seers and prophets were very much involved in, in strategy for warfare against the other nations. And the seers and prophets were very much involved in the spiritual climate of the people of God. Um, you know, if the people were going astray, God would send seers and prophets to bring correction and direction. If God was leading the people in a certain way or a certain place, the word of the Lord would come through the seers and prophets. So I just wanted to share that with you, that um, seers are observers. They're aware of the times. You know, the Bible says that the sons of Issachar had discernment of the times and seasons, and they knew what Israel should do. 
and I feel like seers are called to discern the times, to know the seasons and have wisdom from heaven, have strategy from heaven to direct the people of God and to help them to do what God has called them to do. Um, yeah, so Samuel, Samuel was a seer, he was a seer prophet. The Bible says um, Samuel was formerly called a seer and um, he was then later called a prophet. Yeah, so <clears throat> maybe I'll just, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Why do I believe seers exist in the new covenant? Because, you know, seers aren't mentioned in the New Testament. Prophets are mentioned in the New Testament. We find prophets, but we don't really find seers. Well, I think the key there is Joel. The prophet Joel prophesied that the Spirit of God would be poured out on all flesh. You know, sons and daughters would prophesy, young men and old men would dream dreams and have visions. And that is very much in the realm of the seer anointing. It was typically the seers that had access to the revelatory realm of visions and seeing in the Spirit. But as New, new Covenant, New Testament Christians, the Spirit of God has been poured out upon us. And the seer anointing to have dreams, to see visions, to access the spirit realm, to see into the spirit, to, you know, function in all of that is a gift and a grace that is available to all of God's children. And that blows my mind. Like, that is amazing. You know, the, the prophetic anointing, the seer anointing was reserved for a select few in the Old Testament. But in the new covenant, the spirit of God has been poured out upon all flesh. You know, the Apostle Paul said, eagerly desire the spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy. So there's a grace for all of God's children to access the spiritual gifts, to access the prophetic anointing, to have eyes to see and ears to hear and hearts that understand, just as the seers did of old. Um, yeah, so... I just thought I'd throw out um, just a little video there. If you've got any questions or comments or, you know, insights of your own into the seer gift and seer anointing, I'd love to hear it. So put something down in the comments. God bless you guys.